What's going on? My name is Jason Parks of The Media Captain. I'm sure you've seen logos populate within Google advertisements and it really legitimizes a brand's ads. Uh, how exactly do you go about doing that? Within this video, within five minutes, you'll learn how to go about doing this. You'll know what documents you need to upload to go through the verification process. Uh, it's fairly simple, but after it's all done, your advertisements will start populating with that business name and logo, which can help improve click-through rate and um, legitimacy. So let's get started. To get your business name and logo to populate within your Google Ads, you'll go to Ads and Assets. Um, and under assets, just where you would find site link and call out extensions, you will now see business name and business logo. Um, if you were to click on add the business name, you'll see you would need to get access to names and logos for search ads and to get started. So it's going to take you to an advertiser verification process. Um, the other way to get there is by going to tools and settings, advertising verification, um, and it will take you to the same place. So essentially, if you want to go through the verification process, which you'll need to do, um, you can get there two ways under tools and settings or under the um, assets. In terms of the advertiser verification, let's just go through this process so you understand what you need to get your business verified so you can get that name and logo to populate. All right, so under advertiser verification, let's just start the um, verification process and um, you'll have one of two options. Is your organization an advertising agency? Um, yes or no. In this instance, uh, we're an agency, so I guess we'll click yes. Um, what do you want to verify today? Uh, a client. And you'll go through this, and um, here it will ask a question, who pays for the advertisements? In this instance, our clients pay for the ads. All of our clients, uh, actually 95%, uh, put their credit card on file so they have full transparency to their billing. Um, all right, so no, our client pays for the ad, save and continue. So when it comes to the advertiser verification, um, it's gonna ask you additional questions and you're gonna put your organization name, the street address, city, state, zip code. Um, and if you have a Duns and Broad Street number, enter uh, it for faster verification. A lot of people don't have this number, so you can see it's optional and you will then press submit. Um, we weren't able to verify the info, and this is going to happen if you don't have that Duns and Broad Street number. And uh, so it's going to ask for additional information. And here, what you will want to do is you will want a letter or notice issued or stamped by the IRS, such as a CP575 that confirms your EIN, a copy of the organization's form 8871, 8872, or 990 from the IRS website a state-issued certificate of business registration or incorporation, your organization's most recent SEC filing, including uh, 10K, 10Q, or 8K, a business credit report from Experian, Equifax, TransUnion, or Duns & Broad Street. So for our agency, the media captain, when we did this, we just uploaded our um, articles of incorporation, uh, and it included our EIN number on that, so it was fairly simple. But what you'll do once you have this document and I will link below in this YouTube video to all of the documents that you need, but you'll go and you'll upload the document um, and then you would uh, press submit. And that is going to then prompt a three to four day verification process. Um, I think that's about the amount of time. It's within a week where Google will verify the business name and then you will be able to get that business name and logo populated within the Google Ads. My name is Jason Parks of The Media Captain. Hopefully you found this video informative. Subscribe to The Media Captain on YouTube for more Google-related content. Um, and if you ever have any questions, you can contact me at themediacaptain.com.